Salam. Peace. Hello, Abes. I am your instructor, Engineer Rhymes. And today, we are going to discuss... Abandoned well, a kind of well that has been treated to eliminate the potential for contamination of aquifer. Abattoir, a slaughterhouse. Abito, dike and drainage structure protecting marshlands, outlet structure with flap gate which permits outflow of fresh water but prevents inflow of tidal salt water. Abomasum, the fourth compartment of a ruminant. Abortion, expulsion of dead fetus before the end of the gestation period. Baby chicks are newly hatched young chicken that are 1 to 10 days old. Back angle, the angle between an element of the back cone and the plane of rotation. Back cone, the angle of a cone whose elements are tangent to a sphere containing a trace of a pitch circle. Back cone distance, the distance along an element of the back cone from the apex to the pitch circle. Back cross, refers to the crossing of an F1 generation hybrid with one of the parental types breed. The offspring are referred to as the backcross generation. Cabalgation, a method of surface irrigation that uses gated pipe to both transmit and distribute water to furrows or border strips. Cage, an enclosure mounted on side rails of a fixed ladder or fastened to the structure wall to enclose the climbing space in order to safeguard persons climbing the ladder. Calcareous soil, an alkaline soil containing sufficient calcium and magnesium carbonate to cause visible efflorescence when treated with hydrochloric acid. Calcification used by some to refer the processes of calcium carbonate accumulation. Calcitonin or thyrocalcitonin is a hormone that lowers calcium level in the blood. This has an opposite effect of parathormone which increases calcium level in the blood. Daily efficiency the collected energy of the collector for the test day divided by the total solar energy incident on the gross collector area for the same test day, dimensionless. Dam, a female parent. Dam, a structure of earth, rock, concrete, or other materials designed to retain water, creating a pond, lake, or reservoir. Damaged grains. Grains which are heat damaged, sprouted, or distinctly damaged by insects, water, fungi, and or any other means. Damaged grains, grains which is distinctly injured or marred by insects, fungi, water, heat, handling, or other elements. Damaged grains, corn, are grains or pieces of grains which are heat damaged, sprouted, weather damaged, moldy, diseased, insect board, or otherwise materially damaged. Damaged grains milled rice are grains whole or broken which are distinctly damaged by insects, water, fungi, and or any other means. Damaged grains palai are grain which are sprouted or distinctly damaged by insects, water, fungi, and or any other means. Dumper a sliding door that controls the gas and airflow in a stove. Damping capacity. It is the ability of a material to absorb or damp vibrations, which is process of absorbing kinetic energy of vibration owing to hysteresis. 
earthen storage basin. An earthen structure usually with sloping sides and a flat floor, constructed to store semi-solid, slurry, or liquid manure. Earth moving. Tillage action and transport operations utilized to loosen, load, carry, and unload soil. Earth tempering. Heating and or cooling of air by moving it through a buried conductor using the thermal mass of the earth to moderate air temperatures. Eve, part of roof projecting beyond the face of the building side walls. Eve line, the intersection of the roof, the structure wall. Eve draw, gather along the edges of the roof to catch and carry away the roof run of water. F1 refers to the first filial generation, the first generation of spring of a given mating. F2 refers to the second filial generation, the first generation in which segregation occurs. Fabrication is the process of cutting carcasses into standard wholesale and retail cuts. Face, surface of plywood showing veneer of higher grade than that of the backside. Face plywood, plywood faced with a material other than wood such as metal or plastic. Face width, the width over tooth part of a gear measured along a straight line generator of the reference cylinder. Gabion, rectangular or cylindrical wire mesh cage filled with rock for protecting aprons, stream banks, shorelines, etc. against erosion. Gable, vertical triangular or gothic shaped portion of a building and wall. Gable roof is one of the most universally used roof shapes on farm buildings. Those type of roof is commonly seen on two-story poultry houses, dairy barns, and single-story buildings that are too wide for shed type of roof. Gauge pressure is measured above existing atmospheric pressure. It is the excess of the absolute pressure over the atmospheric pressure. Gaining stream Stream or part of a stream that has an increase in flow because of inflow from groundwater. H-Rotor, a vertical axis wind turbine design. Habitat, the native environment where a plant or animal naturally grows or lives. Half Monitor, an equal slope roofs with a short vertical wall directly beneath the ridge that joins the roof slopes together. Half section, cross section of one half of a symmetrical building. Hammer mill, a machine using rotating or flailing hammers to grind material as it falls through the machine or rests on a stationary metal surface. Ice storage system A thermal storage system usually designed for comfort cooling which uses the phase change properties of water or ice. Idling An engine running without load. Igneous are called as the ancestors of all rocks, where one had molten liquid masses known as magma which subsequently cooled into firm hard rocks. Examples are granite, rhyolite, obsidian, basalt, gabbro, peridolite, andesite, and diorite. Ignition, the start of combustion. Illuminance, the density of the luminous flux incident on a surface. It is the quotient of the luminous flux by the area of the surface when the latter is uniformly illuminated.
that's all for now. For further readings, see the links on the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga lessons natin. Masalama! See you on our next